Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is AP Physics Essentials video 118. It's on light absorption, reflection, and transmission. And in this picture I have a green laser that I'm shining at gummy bears that have different colors. And you can see that most of the light is being transmitted through the gummy bears. We get some reflection off the surface and off this background, but we also see a lot of absorption. That red gummy bear is absorbing that green light. What's interesting is you could have a red laser and a green gummy bear and you'd see the same type of absorption. And so when light moves from one medium to another, in the example I gave a second ago, it was moving from air to the gummy bear itself, one of three things can happen. First of all, we can have reflection. That's when the light bounces off the surface. We could also have absorption, and that's going to be when the light is actually converted to another form of energy. You know this occurs when that light simply disappears as it enters another medium, or it could be transmitted. In other words, it can be granted safe passage through the medium itself. Sometimes it'll be refracted, but we'll talk about that in a later video. Now what's interesting is you can have different wavelengths of light interacting in a different way with the medium itself. Some could be reflected, absorbed, or transmitted, and that's where we get the color of objects and, and what colors they actually have. So let's start with reflection. If we were to look at this leaf, what color of light is being reflected from the surface of the leaf, well, it's green. If it, since it occurs as green, we're getting a reflection of that green light. So reflection, remember, is a bounce off of the surface. Now what's interesting is on that bounce, if you draw a normal, which is going to be a line that's perpendicular to the surface, as light is reflected, the angle it comes in at, we call that the angle of incidence, is always going to equal the angle of reflection. In other words, this angle right here is going to equal that angle right there. What if it comes straight in, then there's an angle of zero, and so it's going to bounce straight back. If we're looking at a mountain in the reflection of a lake, that's going to be reflection that's causing it. And so you know the mountain is not down in the lake, and so how did that image get to your eye? Well, the light from the top of the mountain is reflecting at an angle off of the surface of the water, and it's going to your eye. And so it appears as though it's down in the water, even though it's not. Absorption is different. Absorption is when the light hits the surface and is converted into some other form of energy. Generally, it's going to be heat. And so if we were to look at this leaf, for example, what light is being reflected? It's going to be the green light. And so what light is going to be absorbed? It's going to be the red light and the blue light that's being absorbed. And we can even look at an absorption spectrum of the leaf itself. There are two pigments in there, chlorophyll A and B, and what they do is they absorb a lot of that bluish purplish light, they absorb a lot of the reddish yellow light, but they don't absorb a lot in the green. And that's because the green is reflected back to us. Now what's neat is a leaf can actually make use of that energy to do photosynthesis. Now light can also be transmitted. That means that it goes from one medium to another and it just goes right through that medium. And so if we were to look on the underside of a leaf, we're going to see a lot of green light coming through. But also some of that blue and red light is going to make it through as well. And so some plants have evolved a barrier on the bottom. And so you'll see some leaves that on the bottom are reddish bluish on the bottom or a purple and what they're doing is they're having that layer so they're reflecting that back up through the leaf so they can get more of the energy out, out of the sunlight itself. And so if we look at this gummy bear experiment, so I'm shining the, the laser at the gummy bears, we can see all three of these occurring. And so if I were to say where's the transmitted light, that's going to be on the top. Where would we look for the absorbed light? It's going to be on that surface. So right as it goes in, some of it is absorbed by the gummy bear itself. And then if we were to look at the reflected light, you can see the reflected light is going to be right here on the front of that gummy bear. It's bouncing back where it came from. And so if we continue the video and watch what happens, you can see each of those gummy bears are transmitting, absorbing a different amount. But when we get to the red, we see a bunch of reflection, a bunch of absorption, but not much transmission. And again, that's dependent upon the pigments and the chemicals that we have inside the gummy bears itself. And so did you learn to explain the behavior of light as it travels from one medium to another? Again, it can be reflected, it could be absorbed or transmitted, and I hope that was helpful.